Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of dilated later ventricles with pregnancy of about 26 weeks. You can see the fetal head and later ventricles are grossly dilated. Ventromegaly is a condition in which ventricles appear larger than normal on a prenatal ultrasound. This can occur with when cerebrospinal fluid becomes trapped in the spaces causing them to grow larger. Ventricles develop early in pregnancy and can be seen on a prenatal ultrasound in the second trimester at about 15 weeks if your, your child has mildly enlarged brain ventricles or ventromegaly without other complications the condition may resolve on its own. If the ventricles are more than 15 mm wide, the enlargement is considered severe. Fetal ventromegaly occurs in approximately 1 in every 1000 births and in roughly half of these cases there are no other finding or abnormalities in the body. In a normal fetal brain, Ventricles are less than 10 mm wide. When the ventricles are between 10 mm and 15 mm wide, the baby is diagnosed with mild ventromegaly. If the ventricles are more than 15 mm, as in this case, the enlargement is considered severe. If the fetus has mildly enlarged brain ventricles or ventromegaly without other complications, the condition may resolve on its own. When hydrocephalus is more severe or progresses, timely treatment is important. Mild ventromegaly is different from the more severe form of ventromegaly, hydrocephalus or water on brain about one in every 5,000 babies will have mild ventromegaly. In most cases, based babies with this ultrasound finding are born healthy. You can see there is no other fetal anomaly seen in this case. When an injury or illness alters the circulation of cerebrospinal fluid, one or more of the ventricles become, becomes enlarged as cerebrospinal fluid accumulates. In an adult, the skull is rigid and cannot expand, so the pressure in the brain may increase profoundly. Hydrocephalus is a chronic condition. It can be controlled but not usually cured. So you can see the, there is no other fetal anomaly seen in this case, only the later ventricles are enlarged. The ventricle size usually either says, stays the same or gets smaller later in pregnancy. The ventricles may even return to normal size. In some cases, however, about 1 in 10 babies with mild ventromegaly will have the ventricles get larger. Ventromegaly is typically categorized in one of the two ways, mild that is 10 to 15 millimeter or severe more than 15 millimeter or as mild 10 to 12 millimeter, moderate 13 to 15 millimeter, or severe more than 15 millimeter, as in this case. The incident of mild to moderate fetal ventromegaly is approximately 1%. Ventromegaly associated with abnormal findings and other structural malformations often has an adverse prognosis which ranges from disability to fetal demise. However, in cases of mild isolated ventromegaly, there is around a 90% chance of normal outcome. 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.